really kind of disgusted with it. One day after Winnipeg Jets general manager Kevin Sheveldayoff and Mark Chipman spoke to media, Kyle Beach's lawyer Susan Loggins watched the entire press conference and says she wasn't satisfied with what she saw. I felt like it was totally superficial. I want to begin by stating how sorry I am that this happened to Kyle. This has been a horrific week. On Tuesday, Kevin Sheveldayoff and Mark Chipman addressed the public for the first time since the investigation report into the Chicago Blackhawks sexual assault scandal was released last week. I thought that there was more focus on the owners a desire to build his team and to get sympathy for the position that he's in then there was focus on Kyle Beach's situation. Had I known that there was any uh, sexual assault involved, I would like to think that it would have rose to a, a different level. Login says she doesn't believe Shevel Dayoff's statement. This is just more of the same of what Kyle Beach has heard for all these years. So there's no doubt that he was in the meeting, and there's no doubt about what the meeting included. Montreal profile analyst Christine Gagnon watched the body language of both Chipman and Shevel Dayoff. She says she sees two different bodies in the interview. Mr. Ch uh, Chipman is more in a in small ego. The small ego means that he's not taking a lot of space around him. So he's really like a, a little child. We can see that he's not feeling good about it. For uh, Mr. Sheffeldeoff, he's more like a conqueror. Gagnon says after watching the press conference, she feels both Sheffeldeoff and Chipman were sincere in their answers. Clinical psychologist Dr. Julia Riddell says, unfortunately, sexual assault is more common in our society than what most people think. You, you know, what really breaks my heart about this particular case um, is, like many others, there was secrecy, there was a cover-up, there was an effort to um, not um, keep, you know, survivors safe, and so then the harm did did continue. U of M associate professor in the faculty of social work Kendra Nixon says it's important for organizations and institutions to respond to sexual violence cases. They need to have the will and the commitment to take violence and uh, sexual, sexual violence, sexual assault, sexual harassment very seriously and respond to um, any people who are um, making these disclosures you want to call them victims or survivors, to take their disclosures very seriously. Login says she feels terrible for Beach. I want them to own up to what happened and quit trying to cover up and quit trying to worry about money. I mean, we all care about money, but we hopefully care about human life more than we do money. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpacity News.